Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Gone Rogue, and today I am here to talk about how now I am excited, uh, excited for this Lakers news, uh, late breaking news is that how LeBron James is now a Los Angeles Laker, that's right, LeBron James is now a Los Angeles, Los Angeles Lakers, and who would have thought? Who would have thought that um, LeBron James is was going to be a Laker? And man, to say that LeBron James and Lakers in the same sentence is a mind-blowing experience, to say at least. And yeah, and I am like shocked when the news came because. The night of free agency on June 30th, June 30th, uh, the night of free agency, uh, which Laker fans, uh, myself, found out that Paul George was not going to be a Laker after speculations and rumors that that uh, he'll be a Laker, but that didn't happen, and we were we were we were but hurt believing those rumors and 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 that. Uh, rumors and uh, speculations were, were about to come true, but it didn't happen. So, um, so um, that said, uh, well, we took that news as a BS news. How how could he do this? How could he do this? And us Laker fans on ESPN seven ten Sabadogi Gante hashtag Sabadogi Gante. We're making hashtag campaigns plummeting Palmdale property values to nothing. Ser seriously, we're making hashtag Palmdale is not LA and Palmdale is lesser with LA plummeting uh, property values up in the desert. But the news of LeBron James the next day, it was just after five, uh, I was eating uh, lunch, it was just after five. Uh, I looked at my uh, Facebook, and the first thing that I saw, the first post from Laker Nation was is that LeBron James is a Laker. And I was like, oh my goodness, is this true? And I, and I was like, this has to be true. And then usually I have to check my sources, but the post made from Laker Nation is usually is most likely to be a a a true post, not one of those fake news that makes speculations and that none of it. Yeah, so, um, what we'll be doing here is that, um, is that uh, I will be continuing to give my Laker insights on this YouTube channel for a Real Talk of Alex Trent uh, playlist series in the Lakers Talk. Uh, if you don't know what Lakers Talk or Real Talk about Alex Trent, it's a segment that I do on Real Talk about Alex Trent, and that segment is usually at the end of the end of that uh, episode. I don't want to run a red light here because you never know. But that said, um, I just lost my thought. Um, that said, I'll be doing. Uh, my, I will be continuing to give my insights on this, uh, on on my Los Angeles Lakers, my favorite team. And yeah, you want to listen if you're interested in listening to my insights. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out Real Talk about Strand and uh, Lakers Talk, and I'll be giving insights in my. Uh, I will be giving insights on this uh, series too, the Gone Road series. And yeah, so got a break here. I don't want to hear in people. But let's make a right here. Gonna make a right. And yeah. So this is just an episode about about this breaking news, and, um, and man, and I'm still, I'm, I'm speechless to see 
to see this uh, go down. Uh, I really am. I really am speechless. So, um, uh, uh, speechless to see this uh, happen, and, and yeah, so that said, with that being said, I'm excited to see what, uh, what, uh, what the upcoming season, uh, will look like. I really am. I'm really excited to have, to have LeBron James on my Lakers, and, you know, there are, like, lots of haters of LeBron James, and the only thing that I hate LeBron James is the things that he does on the court, but not anymore since he's a Los Angeles Lakers. And I'm also a Kobe fan, but man, these those people who don't want LeBron James in a, as a Laker need to look at themselves in the mirror and to ask themselves if uh, as to ask and ask themselves if they are a Laker fan or not. Um, because I'm a Laker fan first, Kobe fan second, and those fans that don't want um, don't want LeBron on the on on their team on the Lakers are Kobe fans first. And as a Kobe fan myself, it's over. Kobe has retired. He scored 60 points. And that's a good way to end as a Laker. And we got to move on. We got to stop living in the past. And that's what uh, being bad, uh, that's what, and that's what the kind of being a Laker fan, to be honest, is that we live in the past too much. Our 16 NBA championships. That said, the tide has changed. We will take over LA from the Clippers, and that said, it's going to happen. So, um, so yes, yeah, excited about for LeBron James, and and I love what he does on the court. I mean, what I love what he does off the court. Excuse me. That uh, I guess I'm going to love what he does on the court, but. I love what he does off the court, and if people hate him for what he does off the court, you need to reevaluate who you are, so, who you are as a person, for God's sakes. Because first, fuck Donald Trump. Gotta put this. Uh, gotta admit, say this out in this episode. Fuck Donald Trump. Because what has he done for education? What does Betsy DeVos, a boss? has done for edu education in America because LeBron James just opened a, a school just opened a school with his money opened his I promise school where he put um, underprivileged kids to school and uh, tuition to college and you can look that up if, when it, if you are super interested in that story but that's all I can say um, about that bit. That's about it. I'm going to end this episode. Uh, if you like this uh, video, please give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below on what you think about this uh, about this episode. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and be sure to check out my other YouTube content. And thank you for watching Gone Rogue. And I'll see you on the next episode.